ねえお茶の入れ方教えてくれるまず急須に茶葉を入れるうんで沸騰したお湯を湯飲みに入れる本当湯飲みに入れるのかそう温度を下げるのがポイントだよそうなんだ渋みが取れるからへえ次に湯飲みのお湯を急須に入れるうん30秒後お茶を注ぐなるほどねお茶って奥が深いよねまあねハロー、アレックス here and welcome to Learn Japanese Pod the podcast to help you understand and speak Japanese more fluently and naturally and I'm joined by our very own Japanese teacher Ami Sensei Who is here to give us some insider tips and tricks to help you speak authentic Japanese like a native? How's it going, Ami Sensei? Hi, Konnichiwa. Good, good, good. How are you? Konnichiwa. Genki desu. Genki desu yo. Great. Ami Sensei, could you tell our wonderful listeners what are we studying in today's podcast? Sure, wonderful listeners. Today we're going to learn about Aizuchi. Which are words used to show interest during a conversation. So, in English, you might say things like, uh huh, and really, during a conversation to show you're listening to the speaker. Japanese is no exception and has a lot of these aizuchi, which are used frequently in conversation. So, if you can learn and use these when speaking to your friends, your conversations will go more smoothly and you'll sound a lot more natural in Japanese. Now, later on in the podcast, we'll go off script and have a chat in Japanese so you can practice your listening. After that, we'll teach you the random phrase of the week. That's where we teach you a funny, surprising phrase or slang to make your Japanese friends laugh and ask, Where on earth did you learn that? Thanks, Ami Sensei. And I should add, at the very end of the podcast, I'm going to make a very important announcement. So please stay tuned. Yes, 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 yes. So,、um, also, just to let you know, you can find us at learnjapanesepod.com. If you, if you go to our webpage and click on the forum link, you can hang out with our other Learn Japanese Pod listeners and you can also get your Japan and Japanese related questions answered. We also have a Discord server where you can chat with our amazingly supportive and friendly community of Japanese learners. Just click on the Discord server link on the front page. Lots and lots of friendly people. Which I, you know, I am、um, uh, embarrassing or embarrassed to say that I went on the Discord server for the first time the other day. <laughs> How dare you? And thank you so much. <laughs> oh, of course. Of course. And it was fun. Sometimes you'll find Ami Sensei and myself lurking on the forum. And when, when I can, I'll try to answer questions and also help out.、Mm -hmm. By the way, I, I just want to say to all the、uh, members on the Discord channel thank you so much for all your friendliness. Kindness,、mm -hmm. uh, being supportive of new、yeah. people who join. Every time someone joins, I notice that people kind of jump on and say, Hey, welcome to the Discord server.、Mm -hmm. So I'm really, really happy that it's a very friendly, supportive environment. And、uh, I haven't had to kick or ban anyone. And there's none of that nasty social media fights that you get on Twitter or Facebook. It's actually a very calm, friendly <laughs> community, a haven, if you will. I know, it's great. Yeah, yeah. So、uh, definitely check it out. And、uh, actually, to be honest, I get a lot of my Japanese questions answered there too. So、uh, <laughs> definitely use it. It's a completely free resource. We've got over 800 members. So come down and say hello. Anyway, let's get back to today's lesson, which is Aizuchi. So, Ami Sensei, where、Hi. should we start with Aizuchi? Mm, so, the best way to learn what Aizuchi is about is to hear them in context. Listen to today's main dialogue and see if you can understand. See if you notice how Aizuchi are used during the conversation. Afterwards, we'll break down the dialogue and explain everything you need to know. 
ねえお茶の入れ方教えてくれるまず急須に茶葉を入れるうんで沸騰したお湯を湯飲みに入れる本当湯飲みに入れるのかそう温度を下げるのがポイントだよそうなんだ渋みが取れるからへえ。次に湯飲みのお湯を急須に入れるうん。三十秒後お茶を注ぐなるほどねお茶って奥が深いよねまあね Okay, wonderful listeners, did you get an idea of what the conversation meant?、Uh, Ami sensei, what was the first line and what did it mean? Okay, so the first line was, Ne, o cha no i r e kata o s h i e t e kureru? So, ne, you guys may have heard that before in our podcasts. Ne is like, hey. So, a friendly way of getting someone's attention, right? Ne, o cha. No i r e k a t a So, o c h a is tea. No of i r e k a t a Way of making. o s h i e t e kureru. Can you teach me? So, hey, can you teach me how to make tea? Now, in this context,、uh, we're talking about just general tea with tea leaves and、uh, particularly、uh, Japanese tea, right, Alex? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah.、Um, so <laughs> I've actually got a bit of a Japanese question here. If you say、Hi. ocha, it's generally talking about tea. And if you want to talk about green tea, is it ryokucha? Is that correct? Sure. Right.、Okay. Sure.、Mm-hmm. And when you say ocha, you're usually,、uh, yeah, you're right. It's, it's a pretty general term. But also, Just remember that if you're talking about like,、um, like Western tea, like black tea, then you want to say k o c h a Right, right.、Mm-hmm. So、um, in this dialogue, I suppose if I, if I wanted to be really, really accurate, we could have changed this to r y o k u c h a which is specifically、mm-hmm. green tea leaves. So、sure. anyway, this is what we're supposedly talking about today. So、mm-hmm. uh, what was the next thing? まず、急須に茶葉を入れる。So, まず is first of all, or first, 急須。So, 急須 is the term for a Japanese teapot. And に、uh, kind of translates to at, or to, we should say. 茶葉 is tea leaves. を Is that particle that we use between the noun and a verb? Ireru, put in. So, first of all, put in the tea leaves into the teapot. Then I said, um. <laughs> well, this is the first aizuchi. So, basically, you're saying, uh huh. So, that's actually quite、uh, useful. You do hear that a lot in conversation. So, I'm just showing that, yeah. I understand. I'm listening to you. What's the pronunciation for that, Ami Sensei?、Um. So, yeah, the N is not really long. It's just、um, very short. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like、mm-hmm. almost like a nasal sound, really. Yeah. And then the next line was De futo shita oyu o yu no mi ni ireru. So, de is another sort of casual way of saying and then. So it's like then, futo shita boiled. So futo is boil and shita is the past tense. So futo shita boiled, o you. So、uh, water that's boiled, o you no mi is the teacup, the Japanese teacup or tea mug, ni to ireru. Uh, put in or pour. So then pour in the boiled water into the teacup. There's one point I'd like to make here, which is Japanese distinguishes between hot water and cold water. So if you're drinking a glass of cold water or you're diving into cold water 
or you're getting in an ofuro with cold water when you go to an onsen, mm -hmm. it's actually called omizu. So omizu, by definition, means cold water or room temperature water, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. But then actually hot water is not called omizu. It's, it's oyu, oyu. Right. Yeah. And I have another question about yunomi. What's the pronunciation for that again? That's correct, Alex, actually. Oh, what? I got it right. Yeah. <laughs> you know me. Uh-huh. You know me. So it kind of goes up a little bit, right? Do -do -do. Yeah, it goes up at yeah. the end. You know me. Yeah. Okay, great. And then the next Aizuchi, I said, Honto? Really? <laughs> you know me ni ireru no ka. So, oh, really? <laughs> you put the hot water in the cup? So I think <laughs> the, the, the idea about this sentence is, oh, you put it in the cup, you don't actually put it straight into the teapot. So I'm showing a little bit more surprise here. Yeah. So you've told me some new information. I'm a little surprised about this and I want to express my surprise by saying, Honto? And then you said... Then I said... So, ondo o sageru no ga pointo da yo? So, so means, yup. So, this is all very casual, right? So, yup. Ondo. Ondo is temperature. O. Sageru. Sageru is to lower. No ga. Pointo da yo. So, sageru no ga. Put together basically means is the, right? Alex? Yeah, so like is, so it's, yeah, the verb sageru, sageru uh, mm -hmm. is lower, lowering, so ondo, the temperature, sageru, lowering the temperature, noga, is basically a connecting phrase to connecting untranslatable particle <laughs> to <laughs> pointo da yo. So what you're saying is the reason you do this is to lower the temperature. Mm-hmm. And pointo is actually, you hear that a lot. So the, mm -hmm. the trick is lowering the temperature. So basically, mm -hmm. just to explain this a bit better, <laughs> I'm not explaining this very well. Ami Sensei says, so first of all, you put the hot water in the cups. And I'm like, what, in the cups? <laughs> and then Ami says, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the whole point is to lower the temperature. Mm. And so that's kind, of, that's kind of surprising to me. So also the word pointo, kind of means well point or the trick mm -hmm. or the knack to doing something mm -hmm. the key the key yeah the key to doing something and you hear you hear this a lot on um say like videos on youtube where you have like today we're going to make bread mm -hmm. and first of all take the flour add the water and don't forget to add the yeast so they got point to die all so that means like the you know, it's a really key, important yeah, key important point. Key, In, important yeah. point is to do that. So you'll hear that a lot in like instructional videos or TV programs. Today we're going to make ramen. You know, so I don't know what, <laughs> what what's the key for ra ramen. Um, key for ramen, I guess, like the um, like how long you 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 put the uh, the noodles in. I guess. Yeah. Right. So how long you boil the noodles? So it could be like you know, uh, men or you. Uh, mm -hmm. So like the, right. the the time it takes to boil the noodles is really important because mm -hmm. there's one thing Japanese people hate, weak tasting noodles. <laughs> nobita or nobita man. Nobita, yeah, yeah. Kind of like it's too like overboiled noodles. Overdone. Overdone. Noodles, that's yeah. better. Yeah. <laughs> Overdone noodles is a pet hate of Japanese people. <laughs> but anyway... Uh, the next uh -huh. thing I say in regards to that is so nanda, which really means again, oh, that's interesting. Is that right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. so des means that is right. And then so nanda can either mean that is right or depending on your intonation, oh, is that right? Is that right? Yeah. So nanda. And actually that comes from mm. the more polite way of saying it which is so nano desu ka or so na, mm. so nano desu but actually we just uh shorten that to so nanda and that's actually a very very uh natural way 
You said, oh, really? That's interesting.、Mm. And then you said, I said, Shibumi ga toreru kara. Shibumi ga toreru kara. So, Shibumi is bitterness. Ga toreru kara. So, toreru kara means,、uh, so, toreru is the verb to remove.、Um, so, toreru, and then kara is because. Right. Right, right.、Um, there or therefore. So basically, I'm saying, well, it's to remove the sort of bitterness. Right, right. And、um, then the next aizuchi、mm. is very, very, very common. And I think, Ami Sensei, I'll ask you to say that. Hey. <laughs> right. And there's a million ways you can say that. Right. Um, but generally, and we'll talk about it more, I guess,、uh, later, but generally you're, you're still expressing sort of interest and you're like, oh. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's very, very, very common. And it's usually kind of surprised interest、mm-hmm. or like, I、yeah. didn't know that, mm-hmm, really. Mm-hmm. So, Ami Sensei, do you remember watching Toribia no Izumi? Yes, I love that show. Isn't that show was absolutely fantastic? Yeah, I, I watched I, it. I, I watched it every week. Yeah, you religiously watched that program. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a fantastic show and they've got a lot of them on YouTube. So just, just、mm-hmm. do a search for Toribia no Izumi, which basically translates as the fountain of trivia. So what、yeah. they do is they have a panel of guests and like a couple of hosts.、Mm-hmm. Um, and they, have a, they play like a video that. Talks about some kind of interesting fact. So, like one of them was、uh, if you get attacked by a shark,、mm-hmm. if you take a small AA battery、mm-hmm. and put it near the shark, it will surprise the shark and it will like, fl- it'll, it'll, it'll escape. Really? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you're like, really? h e r e And so, what happened was when they heard this interesting fact,、mm-hmm. all the guests had a button that they'd hit. <laughs> And every time they hit the button, it made this hair sound. They go, hair. Exactly. And, and the number of hairs, hairs that they hit would show like a, this point system. And so、mm-hmm. each different fact would have a different number of points showing how interesting it was. And then they'd tally up all the points at the end of the show. And then the、mm-hmm. most interesting story would win. Sounds very convoluted, but just go on, go on to. YouTube and look for Toribia no Izumi. It's, it's、yeah. really, really funny. Yeah. It's really funny. <laughs>、hey. I actually had a hair button. <gasps> Shut up. <laughs>、uh, really? <laughs> no, really.、Um, I'm pretty sure I got it at like a Yu Ho Kyacha crane game. Oh,、Japan. no way. <laughs> they, they had the hair buttons <laughs> and I, I really wanted one. So I got one and then, yeah, it was pretty funny. So you hit this button and it goes, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> so just imagine having a button that you could hit that said in English, no way, really? <laughs> <laughs> so that's basically what it means.、Uh, anyway. Anyway, we digress.、Um, what was next, Ami Sensei? Next was, Tsugi ni yunomi no oyu o kyusu ni ireru. So I said, Tsugi ni. Uh, next, you know me. So there's the、uh, tea cup again or tea mug. No, of, or you, hot water. Or,、uh, there's the particle again、uh, between the noun、mm. or two nouns here.、Uh, and this is pointing to, or you, or you, or, kyusu ni. So hot water to the teapot. Ni. To ireru into. So pour the hot water from the tea mug into the teapot. Did I get that right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so confusing. <laughs> Something like that. Something like, yeah.、Uh, It's confusing because what, what, what we did is we,、um, uh, we originally poured the hot water into the cups. Then we, then we pour it yeah, into the, from the cups the into、teapot. the teapot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> to which I said, hmm. Mm-hmm. Which basically means aha、uh-huh, or oh, I see. And then again, that's another aizuchi, right? Yes. 
last instruction was. This one's pretty simple. is 30 seconds. And then adding go after it makes it、uh, mean after 30 seconds. Sanju bio go, ocha tea o sosogu, pour. So、mm. pour the tea after 30 seconds. Very simple. And that's it. And then I said, naru hodo ne. So naru hodo is I see,、mm-hmm. I understand. Oh, is that what you mean? And then net just makes it a little more friendly, I guess. And then I said, o c h a t e o k u ga fukai yo ne. <laughs> so, o c h a again is t e a t e is an interesting kind of particle which refers to what you're talking about. So, about t e a or the thing about t e a is, o k u ga fukai yo ne. Now, we actually did this as a random phrase of the week a couple of mm-hmm, we did.、Uh, episodes ago, and that means, whoa, that's really deep, man. Yeah, man, yeah, bro. And then, <laughs> then I said, <laughs> Mane. So, Mane is sort of like,、um, yeah, I guess so. I guess so, yeah.、Mm-hmm. And、uh, Mane is a very, very Japanese phrase. Yeah. Mane. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah,、mm-hmm. I suppose that's true.、Mm-hmm. There you go. So now you know all these aizuchi, and you also. Know how to make an excellent cup of green tea. Is that how you make green tea, Ami Sensei? Mane. <laughs> right, I guess, I guess so. Very good, very good. To be honest, I didn't know that you put the hot water into the cups first. How dare you? Well, actually, t- well. Did you? <laughs> well, no, no. I, I think there's like a million different ways to do it. You know, if you、yeah. go down to Shizuoka, the home of green tea,、mm-hmm. I'm sure they've got like one way of doing it. And there's probably like a Kansai、yeah. way of doing it. And then I'll go. But I'm going to try it this way next time. Yeah, try. So apparently, yeah, the, the idea is to、um, lower the temperature by 10 degrees.、Mm. Uh, you don't. And, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so apparently, the reason you do that is if you, if you put in boiling water directly onto the leaves, It make it it tastes a lot bitter, a lot、ah. more bitter. And the other the other thing, too,、mm. is my friend who's actually from Shizuoka, like her family lives right in the middle of these green tea fields. It's really amazing.、Mm. And Shizuoka's like really famous for green tea. She was saying, the reason you pour it into the cups is so you know exactly how many cups how you need.、Mm. And the reason you need that is because if you put too much in, You're actually going to dilute the taste too much.、Mm. So, there you go. I think、uh, everyone listening to this podcast, you now have a black belt in making green tea.、Yay. How about that?、Woo-hoo. Yes. And hopefully by now, you should have a basic understanding of Aizuchi. Yes. So, <laughs> let's learn a few more because there are a ton. Now, these next ones are for when you agree with the speaker. So, let's say the speaker says, Or, It's hot today, isn't it? You could answer so desu ne, if you're being more polite. And if you want to be more casual, instead of so desu ne, you can just say so da ne, or simply ne. And then another way is to repeat what the speaker just said. So if person A says, Kyo atsui yo ne, person B could say, Atsui ne. Pretty simple, right, guys? Next type of aizuchi is extremely common and shows interest or mild surprise. So, person A might say something like, John, wa ga hanaseru yo. John can speak Chinese, to which you could say, So desu ka? Is that right? If you want to be more casual, of course, you could say, So ka? Another common sound you'll hear is, Hey, and there it is again, which is when the listener shows a genuine interest and a little surprise. And of course, we talked about that earlier.、Um, and intonation is key. So, you know, the more surprised you are, you can raise the pitch、mm. higher. So, you know, hey.、Mm. <laughs> and then, of course, like if you make it longer, too, you'll sound a little more surprised. So, hey, Ami sensei. Did you know、Hi. Canon, the company、mm. that makes cameras, 
gets its names from Kanon, the Buddhist deity of mercy. <laughs> and did you know where Moss Burger gets its name? Mm-hmm. So the popular fast food restaurant got the mm. name Moss from... I love it. I love Moss Burger. Mm. M-O-S, Mountain, Ocean and Sea. Hey. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I think I knew that, but I totally forgot. You totally forgot. There you go. There yeah. You go. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you want to show a little more surprise, you could say, Honto? Or, Honto ni? Which means... Really? Now in Kansai, which is where I'm from, that's pronounced homma. Homma? <laughs> if you're really surprised by what someone says, you can say, Uso, which literally means lie. Right, right. <laughs> like you're lying. But in this case, it means something like, no way. Mm. And one more phrase, which you'll hear very often in like TV shows and Daily conversation is maji, which also means something like no way. Ami sensei, sometimes I hear uh, the phrase maji kayo. Is, mm. is that similar or, or does that have a slightly different meaning? Um, maji kayo is used, I would say, more often um, by guys. Right, right, right. Um, but I, I would say the meaning is pretty. Similar. Similar, right. Cool. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Um, And as I mentioned, there are a ton of aizuchi, um, a lot of other phrases you can use, but all the ones we've talked about here so far are probably enough to get started with. Right, Alex Sensei? Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you so much, Ami Sensei. That was a fantastic explanation. Doitashimashite. And remember, dear listeners, you can always check out the PDF show notes where we're going to list all the aizuchi that are included in this podcast. And you can also check out the vocabulary and grammar in today's dialogue. Okay, I think you probably get a good idea of aizuchi. So now it's time to go off script and switch into Japanese so you can practice your Japanese listening. So, Ami-sensei, just Nihongo mode ni switch shimashou. Okay. Switch, switch, switch. Switch, switch. Sate. Sate. Konkai no tema wa desu ne. Hai. Natsu toyu tema de. Natsu. Ano, yappari atsui da ne. Dakara, Ami-sensei ni ironna shitsumon shitai to omon desu ga. Hai. Mazu. 日本人は夏になると<笑> で、いろんな扇風機、今はいろんな扇風機あるけど、すごいハイテクな。でもなんかこう、あの、昔からみんなやっぱこう、扇風機置いてみんなその前で、あの、涼んだりとか。なるほどね。やっぱりエアコンの
、うん、やっぱり祭あの祭りそうそうそう祭りに行くときに行ったら、うん、そうそうそう買ったりとかなんか、うん、あのね配ってたりするから。あ,あそうねそうそうそう,そうそうそう無料でうんなるほどねじゃあ次の質問亜美先生の亜美、はい、先生の一番好きな夏の飲み物は何でしょうかあ,あ難しいあのまあ、うん、夏じゃなくても飲んでるけど夏、うん、あのに飲んでやっぱ「はっ」ってこう声が思わず「はっ」って出るのが「<笑>あ,あ,あのもうちっちゃい時から飲んでるポカリスエット<笑>あ僕もポッカリ好きねあ好きですか、うん、いやあれはすごいあのリフレッシュされるアクエリアスじゃなくてポッカリがいいのそうポカリ派<笑>ポカリ派多分ポカリ派とアクエリアス派に分かれるけどそうね、うんうん、なんとなく僕もポッカリ派だよね、うんうん、ポカリ派ねじゃあ、うん、アミ先生の一番好きな夏の遊びは何あー難しいうーんやっぱりうーん日本にいたら、うん、やっぱり花火うーん,うーんだからまあ遊び、うんうんうん、まあもちろん自分たちでね、うん、日本はあのこう大きい花火セットとか、うん、かわいいやつとかいっぱい売っててそれを、うんあの家の前でやったりとか家族でうんあの公園行って友達とやったりとかでもやっぱこう、うん、花火大会がすごい好きで毎年大阪でやってる淀川花火大会っていうのは行ってた、うんうんうんうん、なるほどね、うんうん、僕もやっぱりあの花火大会に行くと、うん、日本の夏だと感じます、ねなんかあのうんなんかすごいワクワクするしねうん楽しいよねだからやっぱり日本だとね、うん、花火というのは夏だという夏って感じがする夏って、うん、夏って感じるそうそうそうそうそう,そう、うん、でえー、っと最後の質問はね、うん、日本の伝統的な夏って何伝統的あれじゃないカトリ線香<笑><笑>そうそうそうそうそうカトリ線香の匂いとカトリ線香自体そう,、うん、そうねこっちにはまああるけどでもちょっとね違うっていうか日本はカトリ線香入れがあるぐらいだし、うん、もうどこ行ってもね、うん、カトリ線香売ってるし、うんうんうん、でなんかこう伝統的っていうなんか伝統的な夏のイメージといったらなんか日本の、うん、なんて言うんだろうあの縁側、うんうんうんうん、に座ってみんな蚊取り線香の横でスイカあいい、ね、<笑>食べながらいい、ねえー、風鈴の音聞きながら<笑>なんか家族で喋ってみたいな。うん、でこのポッドキャストを聞いてる皆さんはチャンスがあればぜひ、あのー、日本に来て、うん、祭りに行ってみてください。夏りに行くと、ねうん、その日本の伝統的な夏を感じることができる。うん、いろいろあるなんか浴衣、金魚すくい。夜店、夜店ね。夜店、うん。そうそうそう。だからあの日本の松というキーワードがいっぱいある。このポッドキャストで全部教えることはできないけど、うん、祭りに行くとすぐわかると思う、うん、だからちょっと将来にちょっとつあの日本の祭りの祭りはね絶対、うん、そうそうのポッドキャストについてやりましょうやりましょう And now it's time for random phrase of the week だだだだだだだだだだだだだ Uh, this is a word that I've heard many, many times, usually spoken more by women than men. <laughs> Not that men can't use it at all.、Mm-hmm. And what is that word? It is Betsubara. 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 So, what is Betsubara? <laughs> so, Betsubara、um, literally translates to separate stomach. <laughs> 
and we're not talking about cows. Right, I was going to say. <laughs> this is, we are talking about humans. Humans, <laughs> ourselves. Um, and it is, um, this word is used uh, to imply that, you know, like when you're full, you can still eat like dessert or something else. Right, 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 right. Because you want it that much. Yeah, so you've had a delicious meal and you're like, oh, I'm completely stuffed, to which the boyfriend stroke husband says, uh, oh, so then you can't eat uh, dessert then. Dessert. To which girlfriend stroke wife has panic look, has a panicked <laughs> look on her face. And then she says, yeah, 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 no, it's about it. 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 So like, no, no, it's okay. Um, I have my extra stomach. <laughs> so um, what are some example sentences you could use ah, with You this could word? say something like, Yuhan no ato no okashi wa betsubara da yo ne. Yuhan no ato no okashi wa betsubara da yo ne. So yuhan is dinner, no of, ato, after, no of, Okashi, snack. So, snack after dinner. What is betsubara? Separate <laughs> or stomach. Da yo ne? Isn't it? Very good. So, mm -hmm. uh, when you eat sweets, you got to use your extra stomach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. I suppose you use it up with cakes as well, right? Yes. You can say like, Keiki wa boku ni totte wa itsumo betsubara. <laughs> <laughs> so cake for me um is bits about yeah. extra stomach so cake is always reserved for my extra stomach mm -hmm. sounds a bit weird but uh you hear that all the time and, oh yeah uh, yeah yeah i just used that word like a couple of days ago there you go there you go so the bits bits about that. yeah very very useful word And now it's time for an important announcement. Yay! <laughs> Kana Invaders 2.0, the game is ready to play. Just go to learnjapanesepod.com and click on the Kana Invaders link or just Google Kana Invaders and you should see a link to the page on Learn Japanese Pod. Yay! So what is this, people? This is a basic Space Invaders game where you zap the aliens by typing in the correct kana on the keyboard. If you make a mistake, it teaches you the correct character. It's a great way to learn and practice both hiragana and katakana, and it's free! Yay! Yay! And a little backstory about this. Um, so, Ami Sensei, Hi. you know the cute green monster logo on the Learn Japanese pod of podcast? Of course, of I do. Of course. Uh, who has now been named Poddokun. <gasps> really? Yeah. Hey. So, so I was talking to <laughs> there's a mighty <laughs> there. So I was talking to a friend of mine. She's an artist, and she says, "Ne ne ne, ano aitsu, dare dare, ano ne sono logo, sono nanka kyu kyoryu chan." Kyoryu. Kyoryu. Nan 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 tei namai. Ah, oh, wakannai, wakannai. Hmm. Then nanka ii idea ga nai no. Eh, kanajo ga ja poddo kun. It's like ah, ii ne. That's cute. Kawaii. Cute desho. So Podkun, so his name is Podkun. Anyway, so that Podkun was mm. designed by my crazy talented friend, Ricardo. So if you go to the website and you see the little cute green monster, Ricardo mm. made that. Well, it turns out yes. he knows a thing or two about programming too. And he's the guy who made the Kana Invaders game. Maji? Maj so, Maji ka yo. So, so, so. So, not only is he an amazing artist, but he's also a very talented wow, programmer yeah, as well. Yeah, he's super talented. Yeah, so uh, it makes me sad to think about how talented he is. It's it's annoying. Now, um, one word of warning that Kana Invaders 2.0 game only works on desktops at the moment. Oh. And sometimes in the future, we will make a mobile compatible version. But for now, mm. it's just desktop. Don't complain. It is free. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Ricardo yes. put a lot of hard work into that. So, if you're still learning hiragana or katakana, please use that game. It's a really fun way to learn hiragana. Mm -hmm. No boring textbooks or anything. And that's it. Thank you, people, for listening to this podcast. Thank you. Ami Sensei, thank you so much for your tutelage. 
Oh, do it しまして。Anytime. Enter. Yeah, thank you, thank you. And、uh, don't forget, you can find us at learnjapanesepod.com. If you have any questions, send us an email at info at learnjapanesepod.com. And we shall see you next time. Thanks for listening. Matane. Matane.